Welcome back everyone. My name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play Might and Magic 6. Where we left off last time, we were just arriving back in Harmondale after briefly touching on the caves uh, just to grab some quest stuff. Hi? The guard gun came at me really fast, that was weird. Uh, we're gonna go drop off the Archimage stuff to the quest guy, but there was a journal fragment. What that is. That's not the right one. Who has that now? What deck you do? Well, I can't do everything. Studies in the game of Archimage have turned up the following observations. How you choose to win in the game should be based on the victory conditions. If the towers start small, you send a good chance of destroying your opponent's tower. If the towers or walls start large, you should concentrate on your own tower. If the towers or walls start large, you need to, uh, a huge tower to win. A resource victory might also be more easily attainable. Also, note that red cards tend to focus your wall. Blue cards focus on your tower, green cards focus on your offense. Keep that in mind when choosing whether to emphasize quarries, magic, or zoos. I have noticed a prevailing trend of thinking in most Archimage players that can provide an edge against them. If they start to play blue cards, you can counter that with... dot dot dot. Nobody knows. Anyways. Dead oh dear. Those are certainly his cards though. I don't want the cards, you can have them. That game has cost me enough now. Oh poor Elrond, I have a little money you can keep for your help. Thank you for finding out what happened to Elrond. Nope. Elrond's dead. It happens. It, Mighty Magic seems to be, er, the Mighty Magic worlds seem to be fairly dangerous places. There's goblins literally right outside the walls. I don't know how trade happens in this game, or in, in this world. Alright, so our victory condition is this one, is to have a tower of 15, a wall. Oh no, we start with a tower of 15 and a wall of 5. We need to gather get to a tower of 30. One of the resources to 100, or destroy our opponent's tower. We have 2-2-2. Two, two, two. So this is oh my god the sound in this is awful because it's just the way, the old the way this is but that's fine. Um so we get two of each a turn basically. Now you can play things like zoos. Uh zoos are how many beasts you're going to gain a turn. Same thing there's that thing for magic and stone as well. We're going to get two zoos. The sound is a bit messed up. Old games, it's not really my fault. If our magic is greater than the enemy's magic, 12 damage, or else 8 damage. Ours is the same currently, so we're not going to worry about that. Stop hitting my tower, he's being a jerk. Oh well, uh, if our wall equals 0, we get plus 6 walls. If not, we get plus 3, so we'll do that. We might die because he's just hammering us with stupid stuff. Alright. We can make him lose 8 beasts with our succubus, which might be worthwhile. Or we can get a zoo. Uh, we'll do the beast. That way he can't hit us. Some things let you play again, too. Uh, ignore the game sounds. They're going to be messed up for a bit. We can't quite afford 11 tower, which would actually win us the game. So we'll just take his tower down a bit. Make sure he doesn't win, and then we just win the game there. So that was it. 600 bucks for doing that. Uh, only your first win grants you money, I'm pretty sure, in any given tavern. But there we go, we got another 600 gold. That will help us out quite a lot. We need to go train... Are we up two levels? No, just level six, okay. So just one more level. That's fine. Then we'll go finish clearing out the goblins and retake our fort of... Whatever it's called. This is not the trainer. I don't know why I keep going to the town hall. Do we have any skills to learn here? Just bodybuilding, right? Yeah. We want meditation and we want learning. So let's grab learning and meditation. It's going to be expensive. Welcome to the fire guild. Yeah, whatever. You're going to cost me a fortune. The guild of the spirit welcomes you. So now we're broke, basically. But we have some of the skills we need. Meditation's pretty great. Um, as is, we should probably start to work on our merchant skill. In fact, I think I'm going to drop some points to merchant right now. I was hoping to get to expert, but we might have to go to Arathia first, pick up expert, um, merchant, once we get some of the horseshoes that are there. We haven't found a sword expert or arms master expert person yet. Uh, we're not going to put points into leather because that is truly pointless. Um, sword? Oh, is not useful at all. Not because it's not a useful thing, it's just um, we're only going to be able to get to attack bonus or recovery. We can't even get to fire's two arrows on every attack, which makes it more useful. Um, Perception we could just ignore for now, basically. 
repair item. Nothing's broken, but eventually it will be. Arms Master, we could start to upgrade, or we can go Sword and try and get to Master on that. I think that might be the better call. Her Staff and Unarmed are also up. We should probably get some more Disarm Trap. Although we can't really get any further in it until we get Initiate, but oh well. Or we could start to get Unarmed. Yeah, no, we just Staff. It's such a tough call. Actually, maybe we start putting points into unarmed and start to buff that up. Because you can make unarmed very, very potent with staff unarmed and dodging and also leather. She's supposed to have leather eventually, but we'll get that at some point. Um, maybe let's get one more staff skill. Try to move up towards master in those. We can't get them yet, which is unfortunate, but... All right. So she is our seller, and we do have a bunch of junk, like just tons of junk. Thanks. Come again. What I think I'm going to do is do a quick cut after we you sell all of our junk, and we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Okay, we've cleared most of our inventory. It's not perfect, but it's better-ish. Just sell these books eventually too, but we'll keep them for now. It's not a big deal. We also need to grab Identify Item. That's another ability we need pretty quickly on, and I think only the Sorceress can Grandmaster that. Can I help you with anything? Thanks. Yep, yeah. okay. So, she needs that, because we desperately need to start well, identifying things. Do everything. Well, <laughs> well, I was hoping that would everything. work. Did not. Um, so we're gonna quickly clear out the Goblins at Goblin Watch. Grab food. We made a couple thousand on our stuff though. Our junk. And we'll head out. We get more money from killing goblins. Also, there's a couple, at least one treasure chest at Goblin Fort. I don't know what the fort is called. I can't remember now. Oh, there's a lot of dudes out there. Okay. Let's wander this way first. I really do need to master mind magic at some or not master, but expert mind magic at some point. And spirit magic, for that matter. This is such a pain to clear out. There's just a lot of the guys. A lot of goblins. It even hurt. I gave you a better shield. You have you should be fine. Oh, that spell went way over that guy's head because he bounced weirdly off of the scenery. <laughs> you gotta love the sliding models down the hill. And then the uh Spells totally miss them and fly off into the ether. Okay. We can't rest here. But why? There's the tiniest bit of grass. How about this one? I like how this. Oh wait, sorry. That's two food, and that's one. It's like a one step difference, and yet it takes substantially less food. We're gonna go around the long way, I think. Uh, maybe not. Although I think there are still more goblins over there. We'll watch our backs just in case they decide to come up from behind us. Okay, we have to be sort of careful how to approach the fort. The fort is... A legitimately powerful fort. It has these spells that can kill you. We're gonna kind of jump in. So if we kill all four of these dudes, they kind of just are weird in that way. But more spawn around us. As you can see, 
two groups just spawned, one on either side of this place. But if you run up, you just hammer spells. And they'll all die. Like, the fort is actually very powerful in terms of the ability to just kill everything in your path. So, you can do this to get rid of all these things pretty easily. If you want some free cash, which you really should. And that really should take care of most of the uh, goblin problem here. Alright, we do still have some goblins around us. Also, watch out for your own spells, because they can actually kill you. Excellent heal. I don't know if you get experience for killing those spells, those particular trap spells. I don't think so. Don't fall unconscious. I need you alive. Oh, you suck. Why are you the only one that gets hit? Would you please just die already? That's bad. Okay, they're all running away because they're all low life, which is tip for this one, I guess, but please hit him. Thank you. Okay, let's kill that one first. At least kill one of them. Come back here. Ah, but a scratch. Thank you. Alright. Uh, we're gonna run away a little bit. Go rest up. Also, we just have tons of money to go pick up. As soon as we're not in danger. But, luckily... Tons of money. That's what makes me happy about the support area. We also didn't even loot the fort itself yet. And yes, if you kill all of the goblins face to face, sword to fist, or sword to face sort of thing, you do get more experience, but... On the same token, it's much easier to just blast them with spells over and over again until they all die. help this swordsman. I think our cleric is cursed. Swordsman also give just so much money. You can go fight those. We're gonna go loot things. We're back up to almost 4,000 gold now. Nice. Grab some cash money. Also, um, Goblin Lords, pretty good money too. In terms of money, I think it goes Swordsman, Goblin Lords, Hobgoblins, Goblin. Alright, so here we are. We have successfully taken the fort. There is treasure chest right there. It is not trapped, surprisingly. I thought there was more things in it, but there's a scroll. And it says, Can't hold for much longer. The goblins have received assistance from some large flying creature, and they began falling from the skies as soon as we took the fort. I don't think we're going to survive much longer. I'm going to miss my wife and family. Yet he had time to put it in the chest as he died. So that's weird. Oh man, two swordsmen? It's worth like 60 gold. Look at how rich we are. Alright, so we're pretty well done with the fort and the goblinish area here. 
Um, there's probably a few scattered groups of goblins over in this area, but we're not going to worry too much about them. We're going to head to Arathia because we're sort of done the first area of the game. Armandale. And it's time to go see a new place. So Arathia is the main kingdom. That's the Telerian Forest. We could go there, but... Oh, we can do the arena. Yep. We might as well. All oh, right, we can't save. We should be okay to do knights. Oh, there's acolytes in the moon here. Okay. Well, that was an instant kill for our chronically terrible cleric. Let's try that again. I don't know why she dies so much. I really don't understand why everyone hates her. Oh, it's different this time. All right, what do we got? We're gonna run to the corner and figure it out. This is like the safest place to go. Either side is fine. Rogues. All right, that's not terrible. Oh, there's at least some form of stupid spider. It's just a normal giant spider. Nothing special. What is that? Is that a ghost? It's a shade. No, it's not bad either. There's a venom- two venomous spiders. The shade we're going to encounter tons of, just like in Mind Magic 6, they are everywhere. They're immune to Mind Magic, so Mind Blast is not going to do anything to them. I don't think we have Disrupt Undead yet either. Well, that rogue is just stupid and just got himself killed by standing up there. We can literally just shoot him to death, except now he's too far away. Sounds a little bit messed up. That's okay, though. It happens in older games like this if uh, there's too many things happening at once. There's just some compatibility problems. It's okay, though. It'll fix itself out once uh, we get out of here. We'll kill the rogue, because it can't move at the moment. Is that it? Everyone's dead that needs to be dead. There's no point in looting bodies, they don't give anything in the arena. They're just basically summoned creatures. 1200 gold. Alright, we're out. Now where can we go? Arathia, that's where we wanted to go to start with, but we stopped off to get some sweet, sweet money. Alright. Horseshoe, horseshoe! Where's the last one? There's always, almost always three. No, oh, it's over here. A little bit of ways away this time. Refreshing water. Okay, so, big thing about Arathia, they have like weird ruffians guarding their capital. I don't really understand that, personally. We can get plate and chain here, which are both important. Now we can throw this plate on him. It's not identified, that's why it's that unidentified color. We'll worry about that later. I'm not going to spend money to identify it. There's no such thing as a first item in this game, I'm pretty sure. Grab some quests. So you're the Lords of Harmondale, eh? You don't look like much. We'll see how history judges you. I myself am a historian and collector of rare historical artifacts. Lord Markham also collects such items of interest, and there's one item in particular that I need to complete my collection. Parsons Quill. The quill used to sign the Treaty of Pierpoint, ending the First Timber War. I know you've dealt with Lord Markham before. It's how you became Lords of this land, after all. And if you would take this letter to Lord Markham and Titalia, I'm sure he would respond favorably. I'd be even more in your debt if Lord Markham sent this item back with you. I'd be sure to favorably record your heroic acts and deeds. Let's just take a look around here. Challenges, we're not doing those for now. Body magic expert, we can't do that yet because we don't have that skill. Mind magic expert though, we do kind of want, so I'll pick that up. It's expensive, but worth it. Oh, this is uh, another quest. This is one of the bigger quests in the game. To be declared Archimage Champion, you must win a game of Archimage in every tavern on, in, and under the continent of Verathia. There are 13 such taverns, sponsoring Archimage events. When you have accomplished this, return to me to claim your prize. Yeah, we're gonna get to that. It's worth it, like, the reward is fairly substantial, but... It takes a bit. 
It's one of the long, long-term ones. Alright. Let's find the tavern and do an Archimage game. And then we'll probably call it a video. Uh, I'm stuck. We don't need a base expert. There's another quest we should pick up here. That's the tavern. But let's go over here really quickly. This is a Crusader quest. Ha! Huh. So the wish is to take the test of a Crusader. I cannot blame thee. The sense of pride one feels when one has accomplished such a heroic deed is sublime. The test is simple. A dragon must be slain. I know just the one. Rom Thrax the Heartless. He lives in a cave in Tatalia and terrorizes the peasants who live near him when he's home. He should be in the cave this time of year. Because this is probably the thine first dragon, I will travel with thee to give thee pointers. So let us go forthwith and spill this monster's black blood. He doesn't help you in the fight, and the dragon is tough, so we're not going to do that yet. The other quest is Cavalier. The hallmark of the Cavalier is courage. I can promote you to Cavalier status, but before you do, or before I'll do that, you have to provide, or you have to prove to me your bravery in battle. Since most people are yellow-bellied, cowards at heart, I doubt you'll succeed, but if you want to try, here's what you must do. Destroy all the undead in the haunted mansion in the Barrow Downs. That is not an easy task. We won't be doing that one for a little bit. Arkham Age. Alright, so we have 20 tower, 5 wall, so do they obviously. Um, plus 2 bricks, plus 2 gems, play again. And a nice, and we'll get plus 2 zoo. And of course he's going to start hammering our wall already because he's a jerk. I hate the lodestone. This is actually a terrible card. It's plus 3 tower. But you can't play it without, or you can't discard it without playing it, and it costs five gems for, th for three tower, which is actually really bad. We'll get it out of our hand. Let's see if we can't uh, take down some of the stuff here. Stop it! Stop repairing your wall. Oof, that hurt. All right, let's buff up our stuff. He discarded a succubus. I guess he's kind of low on beasts, but still. Uh, let's collapse his quarry. Make sure he doesn't get very many bricks. 4 damage plus 3 wall. Plus 11 tower, of course. Let's hammer his wall or hammer his tower again. We're probably not going to be able to kill his tower, just because it's actually really, really hard to kill a tower. Surprisingly. It is shockingly hard to break down a tower, in all honesty. I guess plus three. Stop hitting my tower, God. Um. Yeah, we'll plus nine wall that. Now we're a little bit safer. So we're gonna start to save up our gems. We need to get a lot of gems. Plus seven tower lose. Yeah, okay. We need more beasts, but we have we have just tons of beasts, but nothing. Well, I guess we could just try and win by um, money or resources with beasts. But I kind of just want to win by tower. We're so close. I'm just going to discard a card. That'll do. We're very close to winning now. I think we're one tower from winning. And of course we can't do anything about that. We'll save up for Harmonic War, I think. My magic's greater than his. 12 damage, else 8. It's not. So we'll grab... We'll just discard. And that'll do it. 1200 gold for that win. And now we're a little bit better off. Okay, we're going to end here. I think in the next video we'll finish exploring Arathia and we'll go around and start doing some of these quests. Not the Tatalia ones. The Tatalia ones are way too strong for us currently. Tatalia is a little bit higher up on our goals. But um, we'll get there eventually. I'm just checking these houses for any quests. I don't. Oh, these are the um, smiths I was talking about. So there's make weapon, make armor. I think there's a make item guy. Yep. So, when you get that ore, you can give it to them, and they will make you items. Just want to see. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Two hundred, two thousand gold. 
outrageous, but still, we wanted that. So that's going to be the end of our video. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please do them below. I'll just see you guys next time. Take care.